Yeah, no quarter given so far by these two. As you say, Dan, both players with the opportunity to break so far, but uh, neither player taking that Whoa. opportunity. And the game is uh, there for the taking, certainly. Absolutely, and the prediction we made that it could go the distance, well, that's been backed up here. between them, beating out, scoring bowls in the first three visits to the board. And you see that's borne out by three more 1-3-1 one, one one plus for all the ton 40s. There's not a great deal in it in the overall averages at all. Some incredible antics going on in the crowd today as well, Pam. They're clambering over the seats. They're Madness here in Hildesheim. 140. Ah, desk almost buckled then. No sign of either player buckling here so far. Beaton needs to just keep himself in touch here. 97. Don't you report? You see the finishing stats there. I mean, they, they, that's not brilliant from either man. One in five for Beaton, roughly one in three for John Bowles. Both of them expect more of each other, of themselves. John Ball's not having to go the ball route there. He's done a good long think about this. 85. Well, 85 gets him down to a manageable finish. Steve Beaton has the opportunity to apply some pressure here. He needs at least a tub, you would think. Oh, plenty of room. Oh, wrong one. 43. I was going to say he needed at least 76. one trouble there. Not a trouble one, though. John Ball, 76 he wants. Two darts at double eight. Oh, lovely 14 dot leg with three piece here. Well, beaten landing that ball in the three match decider could yet prove very decisive indeed. Yeah, certainly could. Somebody's, well, John Bowles is going to have to break if he's going to win this match. He's not managed to do so the three times that Beaton has thrown first so far. And Beaton's kicked off ton 40 here, so he's favourite to hold his throw again. Yeah, the margins are very, very fine, especially in this quick-fire format. First to six again, best of 11 legs all the way through to the final tomorrow. Yeah, there is scope for these games to ebb and flow, for the momentum to switch back and forth a couple of times, but they're not marathons by any means, as John Bowles fails to find his second 180 in a match, but it means that he is neck and neck with Steve Beaton in this leg. Tom gets beaten down to a finish. It is a big one, though. John Bowles can find a ton 40. He's in with a chance. It's a lovely looking first dart. Oh. Once again, John Bowles puts a one in the trouble 20. is unable to follow it. So six darts from here for Steve Beaton. Doesn't need to go for the trouble 17, even if he had hit the trouble 20, so he can just chip away at this one six one. 99 will do very nicely. A two dart finish for a 4 3 lead when he returns. Bowles isn't Steve far Ross, behind, no. 62. And he might get a chance here. Beaton is not convinced on his finishing today so far. 30. And that point is illustrated there. Did all the hard work effectively. Yeah, got himself two darts at it by nailing the treble ten. So twelve hits the treble, double thirteen for John Bowles. Oh, what another chance for a breaker throw goes begging in this match, and Steve Beaton returns looking at thirty-two. Surely, yep. There it is. Gets it this time. Four-three Beaton leads. We continue to go with the throw. Bowles needs to find a leg against the throw from somewhere and his time and his opportunities are running out here first of all his main objective here is 60. to keep in touch with Beaton by levelling things up big psychological edge as we get into this stage of the match with Beaton in front Bowles chasing the game well he's got out of jail there in that leg Steve Beaton 16 data but Bowles missing a dart to break him and go 4-3 up himself and he's failed to find Whoa. a treble in his first five darts in this leg he manages to find it with his sixth but Steve Beaton has a chance to steal the darts here he 
Going straight in there. Nice. Oh, look at this. Brilliant. Glorious, Steve Beaton. Glorious. Nice. That first start just set everything up perfectly there. The second was sublime right in the corner. And he finished it off in style as well. Now Bowles has work to do here. Simpson. Beaton just turning up the gas a little bit. Well, this game has been about missed oh. opportunities to break the opponent. Steve Beaton will feel that he could have been home and hosed by now. John Bowles certainly feels he should be in the lead. Missed opportunities to break Steve Beaton as it is beaten. He's on a potential 11 dart leg here. I don't think he will go to the 20 double 19. He split it double yeah, 19 last time. He avoided the double 19 like the plague last time. He's missed the treble 20 anyway. Ooh. He's at least got to leave it easy for him. Well, yeah, well, that'll do nicely. Good recovery, that. Bowles still out at sea on 2 2 1. Well, Beaton's finishing has not been brilliant, so that, that score there will fly some pressure. Bowles will know that this is not, by no means finished, this leg. Double eight, though, and Beaton finishes it first time. Best leg of the match, Luke. The joint best leg, a 14 yard That's enough for Beaton's leg, a 5-3 lead. It's the first break of throw we've seen, and Beaton is throwing for a place in the third round now. Well, Bowles needs to win three on the spin here. And, well, look at Beaton now really turning the screw. Chance for a third 180 of the match, but uh, that chance passing him by. Bowles chasing the game, chasing his tail to some extent here as well. Very watchable player, Steve Beaton as well. He looks very comfortable on the hockey this morning, or this afternoon, I should say. Looked very comfortable in the hotel this morning. He was gliding around reception, full of the joys of spring. Fifty-four. Just the fifty-four for John Bowles. He might know that the game is up here. Steve Beaton, sixty ahead. Plus these. There's a sixty. There's another one. Oh, oh wonderful. Steve Beaton, that's his fourth maximum of the match, and it may be a killer blow for John Bowles. Fourteen data in the previous leg. Beaton's on a potential twelve data here to finish things off. I'm told that he actually hit 170 checkout in the deciding leg when these two last met in the players' championships at Crawley. He won't have to go that way tonight, but he takes 101 out for an accomplished display from the former world champion. John Bowles had opportunities, he didn't take them. Steve Beaton punishes him. It is the bronze that Donis who's through to the second round. Either the top seed Gary Anderson or Ricky Williams.